Vampire Hunter D is a long-running series of over 30 books that spawned two films, multiple radio dramas, a manga, a comic series, and more. It takes place in the distant future after humanity almost nuked itself out of existence. How did humanity survive? Vampires! The vampires kept the humans alive and continued to develop new sciences such as biomechanical horses. Vampires are fiction, but could biomechanical horses exist? Let's take a look at Vampire Hunter D's horses. The horses are just that, living, breathing horses. What makes them unique is what's done to them. These horses are altered by extensive surgery. They have cybernetic limbs, armor plating, and can be directly controlled by instructions beamed into their heads. I haven't read all 30 plus novels, so I might be getting some things wrong, but this is as best as I understand it. Being able to mind control a horse sounds far-fetched, but it isn't. Right now you can buy Robo Roach kits that allow you to steer a living bug around. Scientists have made rats and dogs that can be steered in a similar fashion. This is known as a remote control animal or a bio-robot. How does it work? Electrodes are implanted into the creature's brain. From there, the scientist pushes a button. The electrodes are stimulated to let the animal know it needs to move. If the animal obeys, it's given a jolt that feels good. Controlling the animal doesn't hurt it at all. People were naturally creeped out by the idea of surgically created mind-controlled animals, so the scientists adapted. Non-invasive versions that use ultrasound waves for brain stimulation, vibrations, or sounds only the animal can hear are used in mammals these days. In fact, invisible fences work on the same exact kind of technology. It would be very possible to train a horse using vibrations or sounds only they can hear. This would allow the horse to be controlled from afar. What about biomechanical limbs? Those already exist too. I went into more detail on this in my Blind Mag episode, but here's a fast rundown. Bionic arms are attached to sockets implanted in amputee's limb stumps. The electrodes embedded in the remaining limb muscles send signals to the bionic limb. This allows the amputee to move their bionic arm just as they would move a natural arm. Change the human arms to horse legs and you've got a perfect match! Last but not least, we need to tackle the horse armor. The armor is actually the easy part. As the horse's legs are advanced prosthetics, we don't need to strap armor to them. The movement mechanisms for the prosthetic legs can be housed in armor. We just need to add armor to the horse's body. Thankfully, people have been strapping armor to horses since the Middle Ages. There's no need to reinvent the wheel here. So, are you ready to get your biomechanical horse? Well then, get ready for some sticker shock. In Vampire Hunter D's world, a new biomechanical horse is very, very expensive. We would have the same problem in the real world. The cost of just a basic chamfron, that's the fancy word for a horse helmet, is around three to five hundred dollars at the time of recording. The chamfron is one of the smaller armor pieces. It only gets worse from there. The prosthetic limbs, the bio-robot gear, and training for the horse sends the price into the stratosphere. Forget the six million dollar man, this is the six million dollar horse! If you can afford it though, your dream steed could very well become a reality. We have the armor, the prosthetic technology, and the ability to basically mind control a horse. All it would take is the cash and the patience to make it happen.